Now, back to Coastal Living on KZTV. Welcome back, everyone. We've got our first guest in the house. You may recognize him because it's his second visit. We have Zach Gilmore here with Holland Safe. Thank you for joining us today. Happy to be here. Happy All right. To be here. Well, we're super excited to have you. I think a safe in general is a really unique and legitimate gift to get somebody. It's thoughtful. It's something that maybe they don't have, and absolutely there's something special they could put in there. But first, I want to get to the background of Holland Safes. Where did the name come from? Well, that's my mother's maiden name. Interesting. Uh, my last name's Gilmore, and Gilmore Safe just didn't sound very uh -huh. well. But uh, Holland Safe just sounded a little bit more special, and yeah. so we went with that name. Nice. Yeah. Sounds trustworthy. Put Holland Safe <laughs> in your home. So we're here to talk about safes. Tell me uh, the importance of them. Are there different types and qualities, and what do we look for if we're considering getting one? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, there's several things to consider, one of which is... Uh, the steel thickness of the safe. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll find in your big box retailers uh, a very thin steel safe. Those are actually very easy to pry bar into. Okay. Uh, you're inside your, your gun shops and that sort of thing. You'll always find a little bit thicker steel. We make steel thickness up to two gauge, which is a very quarter inch thick steel. Mm -hmm. um, but most of the time they'll make it and the big box retailers at about a 16 or an 18 gauge. Mm. The larger the number, the thinner the steel. Okay. And so uh, you also, we use a, uh, a vault style hinge that's solid steel. It's actually about 400% more expensive for that style hinge than it is your standard gun safe hinge. Okay. Plus you wanna make sure that your lock is always a UL listed lock. The one key feature to remember though about your lock is if they're giving you an override key, that's their way of telling you that's a very bad lock. Okay. And, good and to those know. are real easy to break into, and that lock is going to go bad. Okay? okay. Because that's why they gave it, so they don't have to do warranty work. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's very expensive to do warranty work. But you want a good, high quality UL listed lock on any gun safe that you purchase. Okay. And we use only. UL listed locks. Good to know. So I think people think a safe is a safe is a safe and you know as long as it has good reviews and somebody likes it I'll get yeah. it. Four or five stars and we're good. But you don't think about all the elements that go into it. The thickness and the, and the hinge and all that stuff. I never I never would have thought twice. I think a safe nope. is safe. It's called a safe. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> well from, from the outside a lot of them they all look the same. Mm -hmm. And it's not until you get into the details of that safe that you go okay, this is what I'm purchasing. Because what you are purchasing is steel. Mm -hmm. You are purchasing the lock. Uh, we also use a hard plate that protects the lock pack on the interior. Uh, that hard plate is drill resistant, okay? okay? Which means a drill can't go through it. It has to be melted. They're gonna have to pull out a blowtorch to get through that thing. Which is kind of hard to carry around if you're trying to rob somebody, I would think. You can't I, run away too fast with the blowtorch. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So how does the average person know if I'm out shopping for a safe? How do, is there like a knock-knock trick? Do I need to know a certain element of the safe that's gonna determine whether or not it's quality? Well, three things you wanna look for. Okay. You wanna look for Tell me what the steel thickness is. Mm -hmm. A lot of your big box retailers, their safes are marked made with solid steel, but mm -hmm. they don't tell you how thick it is. Uh -huh. Quarter uh, inch. Yeah, and, and so, okay, well solid steel, it's all sheet metal, so sure. it's all gonna be solid. Mm -hmm. uh, so you want a, a minimum steel thickness of a 12 gauge mm -hmm. and thicker. So 12 to two gauge okay. is a good quality steel. Mm -hmm. uh, you wanna have a nice, extra strong vault style hinge and it must be a UL listed lock. UL listed. Mm -hmm. See, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even know to look for that. And yeah. you mentioned the reason being because some of the others can be really easy to break into. So we actually have some footage of how easy it is okay. to break into one of these. Here we go. Yeah. Notice, the, notice see, the gun safe. The this guy's got just a typical That's pry it. bar that you and I might have in our garage. Yeah. He just got done breaking into your car, and now yeah. he's in your safe. Uh -huh. That's nothing. No. And look at the timer there. They've spent so far about 59 seconds pry barring. Wow. Look at the smallness of that bolt. We yeah. use only one and a half inch bolts on our gun safes. Mm -hmm. And so this just lets you know, and that's large enough that the other guy, they don't even have to get it completely open. Yeah. He's grabbing things out of there by yeah. now. He's Absolutely. not even gonna, now poof, there goes the door. And that a is a huge, imagine what you're keeping 43 in a safe seconds. that size too. One minute and 43 seconds. Guys, yeah. two minutes before you even realize that there's noise happening or before you get the alarm going Absolutely. off or the phone call. They're yeah. already out with all your goodies. So that's really interesting. Um, what about the size? So we see a really big one here. This is for somebody who has a lot of valuables mm -hmm. or is trying to keep their guns safe and out of harm's way. What about someone who just has a few items that they want to make sure 
Well, gun sites come in a variety of sizes. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a, a smaller series called an HGS-11 mm -hmm. that holds about 11 guns. Okay. It's going to be small. It's designed to go into your closet, nice. underneath the closet rod. Uh, we do have a slightly larger model, but your, your typical preferred model is about 30 inches wide. Mm -hmm. And you want to know when you're pricing, what is the width of this safe? what is the height of the safe and the depth of the safe. There's a lot of times they'll do a nice 30 inch wide, but it's real shallow. Uh, yes. and, and you wanna look inside and say, just cause it says, hey, this will hold 22 guns, doesn't mean it's gonna hold 22 they're guns. All they're all shoved it, in there. Yeah, you, you need to take a look at your guns yeah. and the space inside because when they trim that piece out of the back, you're looking at it and going, well, it says 22 guns, mm -hmm. but when you go to put it in there, it's just, maybe holds yeah okay so ad attention to detail and i would Absolutely. imagine a good quality safe isn't going to have a very small price tag on it so what about somebody's budget are we budget friendly is there financing well through us uh, we are the factory you can buy our brand anywhere from california to new york city really as soon as you get to san antonio you will find the prices is normal suggested retail so there's some that are on special but here in corpus because this is where we're located and where we're from we've gone ahead and opened up our manufacturing facility and we sell wholesale to the public. We also can arrange for delivery, installation, and bolt down of the gun safe. Bolting down is very important, the oh, final yeah. stage of security. Absolutely. Well, that's so great to know. Thank you for joining us today. Now, y'all have a pretty cool special going on. It's a year-end clearance sale, 50% off all safes. So, they're located 227 44th Street in Corpus Christi. Call them at 356-1494 or visit holandsafe.com. Thank you so much for joining us today. A pleasure to be here. Absolutely. Wonderful to have you and Merry Christmas. You have All a good right. Christmas. <laughs>